What's going on guys? It's Jake here from Chief Live Gaming today with a product review video. So I'm going to be reviewing the Frontline Gaming crates as well as the Void Shield Generator. Now this is the newer Void Shield Generator, uh, not the one that they just made like a thousand of and then stopped making. This is the newer MDF one, a uh, laser cut MDF one that uh, was uh, pretty recent to be uh, made available. So I have uh, a normal Space Marine and a Games Workshop Demon Prince here just to give you an idea of the scale uh, of these two different things that uh, you can buy. So the crates are actually pretty big, a little bit bigger than I thought they would be even, and the Void Shield Generator is a very good size as well. So we're going to take a, a little bit closer look at these. I'm not going to go too in-depth, but I do want to give you guys just kind of a look around uh, these items here and I'll just give you my thoughts on them so I'm gonna switch the camera angle and be back in one second alright so here we have the void shield generator before we look at anything too closely I wanted to show you guys the top so this piece that you see right here in the center is actually removable as you can see it's just got a little slotted piece that goes right in there like that and kinda of stays so if you wanted you know you could easily glue that there are also a couple different options for tops uh, on that top level there but I decided to leave it unglued, so if you maybe wanted to set some models up there or something like that, a little more playability, uh, you can definitely do it that way. And uh, it's it's pretty pretty uh, easy to do. So, just wanted to give you guys a look at the, uh, the top level. So, there's nothing um, unique about any of the sides here. They all, as you can see, are about the same, except where I glued things crooked. But... Uh, we're just going to zoom in a little bit now. I want to mention as we kind of go move our way down the model. Let's take a look at this top level here. This whole um, like lightning effect that you guys see here is uh, something and, and along with all of the engraving on this piece. If you don't like it, you can flip the piece over, and then there's a smooth side uh, opposite. So if you don't like any of the uh, the engraving or detail that they have done, you can very easily use the other side of the piece and get a, uh, a smooth non-engraved finish or, or side of the, the piece of MDF. So let's just look at the top again. Interchangeable top pieces. Moving down, we've got some, uh, some engraving on the, uh, the actual sort of core or center uh, pillar here as well as the wings on the outside. And again, these are all reversible so if you don't like any of this let me get a little doohickey to point with if you don't like any of this engraving here here you can flip these pieces around and get smooth uh, finish there uh, and when you do prime it and paint it I'm not sure how much this is going to show through anyway so I kind of assembled it like this so I could show you guys and I'm gonna of course prime and paint it so we'll see how it turns out in the end pretty neat uh, again for scale let's put a marine on here so these are actually pretty large these void shield generators a good size so if you're going to use them for the actual void shield generator as rules rules as written sort of for the game they're great but you can also just use it as a pretty cool piece of terrain which is probably what I'm going to do most of the time I don't know if I'll ever actually bring a void shield generator but I love this the look of this tower to just use it as a piece of terrain so there's kind of a farther out look again. Um, reversible, you can flip this platform over if you don't like that look there. Uh, very solid piece overall. Very happy with how everything went together. These fins here um, were a little bit hard to line up properly unless you really took your time, which uh, you know you should always do when you're assembling something like this. But I, I was in a little bit of a hurry, so I kind of had some trouble lining things up correctly. But it still looks great. I think from from this view, so I've got some nice little details in the uh, the slots here. These are actually extruded pieces. I'm sure you guys can see that. So let's move down. We're gonna going down. Here we are arriving at the base of the piece. This is as low as my tripod goes. You can see uh, that there's some doors here. Now these doors. Maybe I'll get the light in a little bit better spot. Oh yeah. So these doors 
are again an extruded piece so if I zoom in maybe you can see a little bit better how about that so it's it's actually extruded out like uh, maybe like a quarter or an eighth of an inch or something uh, along with these windows here and again on all four sides I chose to place a door with the windows but these are all reversible so you can very easily have a door on on one side or you know like uh, maybe over here and then a doorway over on the other side or no only one door on the entire structure uh, I don't know I kinda chose to do it like this because I thought it looked a little bit more completed this way but you can assemble it however you like very easy to omit these doors and windows if you don't like them uh, these kind of uh, corner pillars here went together pretty uh, pretty well they're like um, you can actually see how you kind of have to jigsaw the pieces together to make those and that was a little bit interesting but they went together pretty well and I think once it's all painted up it's gonna look amazing so that is uh, the void shield generator not much else to say again a very solid uh, piece of terrain or, or whatever you're gonna use it for and I'm really happy with it I would definitely recommend you guys to uh, check it out if you're looking for something it's it's a very similar size to a bastion an imperial bastion if you guys have ever seen a bastion or played with one it's it's very very close I should have brought mine in so you could see it next to it but uh, yeah so there's the the finished piece now I want to show you guys maybe I'll just move the camera over look at all the extra bits I had so here's the top piece right and that goes back on up that little guy up there but I like to try to make use of all the extra pieces if I can so I ended up with six of these things which are just like little gear um, pieces and I figured I could use those how about we actually get the camera to look at them as like tank traps or objective markers you know you could use these for a tons of different things and they were just from leftover bits that uh, I'm not really even sure what you're supposed to do with those but again six of them and then also six of these little uh, I don't even know they were just basically the inset um, like interior circle for these windows whoops can't even grab it so like you had to punch out the middle part and I kind of just thought that I would glue these together and come up with something I don't know again uh, you guys might have some ideas for those again here's a, a 25 millimeter base next to them so you can see about how big they are but you know you could come up with some kind of use for those and again you could easily use those as some kind of um, embellishment for oh boy this poor tripod for the building so if you wanted to put them on the outside or, or something you could easily do that you know just set them up there or something um, so just extra stuff that I don't like to throw much away if I don't have to that I thought was kinda cool to be able to get some neat little uh, extra like throw pieces for um, for whatever I can think of so let's take a look at the crates get this out of here get out of here shoo set that over here crates oh dear and drop one it's okay builds character I just dropped it and it didn't break so that's a good sign right so um, I'm gonna show you just a couple but these are the four crates lined up so they have different kinds and I think it's like crate A crate B C and D and it's basically going to allow you to get a different um, like cross design in between these these panels here. So you can see the the plain one on the bottom there, where there is in, in fact no design, no embellishment across the uh, this middle portion. And then up top, there's uh, I don't remember which one exactly this was A, B, C, or D, but uh, you can see the uh, the X kind of embellishment or embossment there it looks pretty nice I would recommend to not go with a uh, open one just for strength unless you really really like the look of the open panels these are basically just cardboard for the like where you can see the vertical uh, 
like slats or whatever, the, the actual bulk of the cargo crate, is just cardboard. It's not MDF, like the, uh, the actual like framing of the crate. So for just overall strength and rigidity, I would recommend staying away from these unless you really, really like this look because a good punch through here would probably be pretty easy to pop out um, this piece of, uh, of cardboard, basically. So just my thought, but I'm sure it's going to be totally fine. Again, setting miniatures on it. I mean, you can see I'm, I'm hitting it pretty good, even on the sides here. I mean, it's not going anywhere, but it could easily happen, and it might be a little bit of a pain to fix once it's fully assembled. So that's just the thought I had. So there's the plain one. Not much to see here. Let's use a little duder for scale. Again, pretty big. I think they're like um, 7 or 8 inches. Let's actually measure. I have a little tape measure here, or a T-square. So it's like seven and a half inches, and then it's like two, a little over two and a half inches uh, wide or tall or whatever. So some pretty decent sized crates, and I got four, and I'm really happy with the four. If you really wanted like a shipyard sort of section of your board, you could get a bunch more, and it would look super cool. But I'm really happy with the four that I have. Uh, personally, so let's take a look at one of the more um, detailed crates here. And again, we've just got the X emboss on the, the sides, and the other three remaining are, are the same. So I'll just show you one. Some pretty cool, um, there we are. Some pretty cool designs through here. This is actually inset and uh, lasered out, so it's it's um not just a, a black mark it's actually uh, grooved out and then of course this little design in the middle here so some neat filigree I guess or or embossment I don't really know what to call it and these are pretty solid once you assemble them they're beefy um, they're they're gonna be very sturdy very solid very durable for your gaming table uh, I was a little bit worried again Without this X across, it's a little easier to pop out if you hit it or dropped like a metal pewter model on it, um, something like that. It might be easier to pop out that cardboard in the middle and potentially damage your crate. But for the most part, even the ones that were wide open here, very stable. I'm really pleased with how these look on the table as well and the scaling. I, I'm not sure, like... Uh, <laughs> an actual size cargo crate. It feels like it should be about like that size um, from my extremely vast knowledge of shipping crates. I can tell you that they're pretty close. So where'd my demon prints go? Uh, you can see that it definitely blocks line aside for something like uh, a Space Marine in Warhammer 40k and then even when you put the demon prints next to it it's definitely got enough height to it to really uh, change the layout of your board quite a bit and uh, you know as you can see Zinch is super strong right now because he just knocked that dude over no problem but they uh, I really think like to bring your terrain and your board layouts to the next level you need like scatter pieces like this um, this is even one I would consider a pretty large scatter piece but like stuff like um, smaller crates, ammo caches, things like that to really just kind of sprinkle in amongst your bigger buildings and uh, like barbed wire fencing, stuff like that is really what's going to make your uh, table stand out and bring it up to the next level. So these are a really good way to start that for um, a good price and to kind of like um, also, you know, if you stacked them up you could make some pretty cool terrain sections in themselves. They're not even like filler terrain. So, you know, you could do something like this and stack them just real quick. Where's my other guy here? So, I don't know, something like that. You know, so you have a playable section underneath. You can go right underneath there. You can come over and, and hop up on here and hop up on the top. You could leave this section out and maybe like scatter it like this. I mean, you could have a shipyard. I would love personally to have a bunch of these crates and be able to come up with some really cool connecting 
like shipyard kind of stuff. But real quickly, you can come up with some really, really neat pieces of uh, terrain, I guess, to break up your board and to really add some more depth to your gameplay. So that's all I think I have to say about the crates, guys. I'm really happy with both of these products from Frontline Gaming. You should check them out. They're not very expensive, and um, I feel like they're going to last a long time. Uh, this is my first experience with MDF terrain, so I'm uh, laser cut terrain. So I'm I'm been really really happy with the durability. I've played a couple games so far with the crates, and they're holding up. I mean, obviously just fine over a couple games, but I think they're going to hold up great for a very long time. Now. I'm going to paint them, prime them and paint them. So if you guys are curious to see maybe what they look like painted up, there's, of course, pictures on their website of painted examples, but I will be posting a, a video follow-up at some point with these painted. So feel free to check out the channel. Depending on when you're watching this, it might even already be up there on the channel. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Let me know if you do get your own pieces of this terrain. If you have any other ideas for how you could use these pieces. And uh, let's go from there, guys. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye now. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do battle reports, tactica, painting tutorials, all kinds of stuff. And if you want to get even more involved, you can check out my website, chieflabgaming.com. There's a, a big gallery there. You can vote on polls to interact with my battle reports and all kinds of other good stuff. So I hope to see you guys there and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye now.